So I saw this come across my feed and I'm like, oh shit. Here we go again. We're upgrading in the mining pool. We are upgrading the Bitcoin mining pool. And, and what, what, what exactly do I mean by that? Because, hey, I'm Boss here on the Boss Coin YouTube channel. Run the intro. So I'm running some Bitcoin miners over here on Brains. I'm also running Bitcoin miners on CK Pools public pool in my Halloween theme that is now out of date. I'm also running some miners on a privately hosted uh, public pool. Basically, I'm running my own Bitcoin node, my own mining pool, zero fees, all that stuff. But one thing about me is that I don't just mine Bitcoin. I also make content about it, right? So having this ck pool that i can share with you and it gives me a nice clean clear layout here is really nice it's really helpful it's really fun for content creation i can scroll down here i can see my different workers and i can get a quick pulse on it public pools ux is just honestly it's atrocious uh so i have a couple different umbrals i have the umbral home I also have the Bidax Gamma Node Voss Coin Edition that we created uh, with Power Mining. So shameless plug, right? Use our link, support the channel, more content like this. And do not forget to punch in code Voss Coin to take 10% off of this price. Some people are like, oh my God, $700 for that? Okay, well, let me just enlighten you. If you go to Umbral and you get the Umbral Home, which is just a node, the two terabyte version, right? And what does this have? Let um, me scroll down here. 16 gigs of RAM, two terabyte SSD, Raspberry Pi 5 architecture there. Point being, this is 550. This is 700 minus 70 and also has a bit X game, but this is actually a better deal than the Umbral Home if you're gonna also buy a bit X Gamma. This thing has tight margins. Either way, let's click over to my Umbral server here. So I run Bitcoin Core, I run Bitcoin Knots, and I'm gonna explain uh, the benefits. And I'll make a video talking about why everyone's all up in arms against Bitcoin Core, rightfully so, uh, than comparatively to say Bitcoin Knots. Umbral Home is a fantastic UX, free to use, all that stuff. And what's really cool about Basin coming out, or Basin, or who cares? Uh, so this is basically built off of CK Pool, but it's self-hosted, so there's 0% fee, right? Let's go back to that original post. Based on CK Pool, built specifically for Umbro OS. A zero fee Bitcoin mining pool. You self-host this, right? So you're running your own Bitcoin miners. You're running your own Bitcoin nodes. You're running your own Bitcoin mining pool. All you do when you set it up, you know what? Actually, let me show you. Umbro.local. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Let's just go ahead and uh, we'll, just, we'll just upgrade this to 1.5. Cool, the whole OS, right? It's basically like your own private server. Um, it runs, you can do all kinds of things. Right? This can be where you store your DVDs. You can use a Bitcoin wallet. You can sync it with your own node. I mean, and while we wait for this to update, let's come back over here and check out the FAQ uh, for this. So pushed out by DuckAx. Uh, you host your miner, you point it to Umbral, Umbral Local, or the IP address there of the Umbral, port 3456, BTC address dot worker, password X. Uh, they created a widget uh, for this uh, as well. Dashboard updates every 60 seconds. Uh, you can look at the configuration and you can change that if you'd like to do so. But this is gonna start to be intermediate advanced level stuff. Mining is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. If you want to start mining Bitcoin, but you don't want to do anything, check out Revolution Mining. They're a sponsor of the Voscoin YouTube channel. They run their own mining farm. They will get you plugged in and mining. So let's bring it back to the device here, right? So I'm gonna show you Bitax Gamma. I'm gonna show you my BMM 101. I have both of those here at my house, right? So I have a couple of different mining pools in here and uh, it did not connect to Umbral Local, uh, but it did just connect to the IP address directly there. This isn't designed to, to work, you know, the same integrations and, and just ease of use to say like the Bitax Gamma. Uh, so you can just put Umbral Local here in your Bidx Gamma uh, configuration. You can see the performance. This one is a little underclocked because it's been running in a hot environment. So the performance is a little bit lower than it should be. Basically just torture testing the poor lab. But you put that information in, you click save, you click restart on the Bidx Gamma. You just put it into the Brains Mini Miners uh, and they pretty much start uh, automatically working. Then I go to Umbral Local or I can just put the IP address there. I click it and I get the dashboard. So I'm testing two different Bitcoin addresses. I wanted to see how it handled multiple 
actual workers. I also put in a couple uh, test workers uh, to see how long uh, they would stay up there and what that would look like. I asked uh, Duckax, the creator, he said that it was reported to him that workers fell off after 14 days. Uh, that's a little different compared to CK pool, which again, looks like this. And uh, random fun fact, is I'm kind of excited, kind of proud of it. Uh, but I may switch off of the public pool here now, or the public CK pool, I should say, uh, because we've been top seven hash rate uh, active users here on their pool, which is pretty cool. However, with uh, Basin, I may just switch back to, to locally operated here because I can quickly and easily see uh, my workers, my total workers, the workers online here, the, the, their last shares. Uh, this is just this is good this is this is a good interface i mean it's, it's basically based off of ck pool and all that stuff so the bottom line here is you know i really like this stuff it's good um it's exciting is it as robust right and can your local server compete like the publicly hosted ck pool can offer um is that worth 3.5 percent which if i recall is their pool fee for their hosted solo mining endeavor there something to think about this is how to set up a uh, base in here quick easy assuming you already had umbral set up we have another video on that uh so this was new with 1.52 right so backups restore network devices external storage can be connected now uh so all good nice uh improvements there uh so so here i'm gonna go to the app store and since we're here i've seen update to bitcoin knots uh so we're gonna be uh upgrade the pool so why not do that all this stuff is here and exists fresh from the oven basin let's go ahead and grab that install we'll use bitcoin knots uh, for this deployment and uh that's pretty quick pretty 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 why? pretty good this is my big gripe with public pool right so i open the pool and it automatically i have to mess with it right uh, so I go here and I can see this information, online device, rank one, best shared uh, difficulty, pretty good bit X difficulty right there. Pretty simple, pretty basic, right? So I punch the address in. We can see it pulls up this information. Uh, this would normally be accurate. I just updated the node that this is running off of. So that's not loading properly, no fault of this. But you can see that I have one worker here and, and just like this is it. I can click on it and expand it a little bit. I get the best difficulty. It doesn't give me total workers here there's no real way to to manage this this is fine if you have like just one two three minor solo mining but i have a lot more than that so like public pool really cool and exciting and it is better when there was nothing but it has definitely largely been been disappointing there so that's it that's all you do to set it up after that you just go into one of your bitcoin miners and you put this information in right and that's what we already talked about uh over here right you're just putting in either umbro local or you can just simply enter the ip address in the port uh and mine there with any miners that don't recognize umbral dot local uh for, for example like this one this is giving me something that feels much more manageable here and when i go to sololuck.com the best bitcoin solo mining calculator in the history of the human species okay oh yeah proud of it i can i can run numbers right so i've got like one uh pet a hash on uh the ck pool right so i've got a one in 22 chance per year to hit a bitcoin block that's that's pretty palatable right even just you know something small right like a bit x gamma one in 19,000 chance for a little bit over 100 dollars right you get some of the bigger uh mini bitcoin miners like a nerd qx plus the updated versions are doing like a complete solid six tear hash a second one and three five five two per year that, that's pretty freaking cool if i combined all of my hash rate for bitcoin mining i would be be a little bit over but i would definitely have nine petahash which would give me a one in three chance per year right that's just a chance and everything's always changing all that stuff but to have a one in three chance to hit a bitcoin block which is incredibly cool and, and a magnificent novelty on its own right and we take this 311 right so we'll call it i don't know 320 we'll call it like 330 dollars of bitcoin times 365 right so i would be estimated to mine like 120 thousand dollars in bitcoin over the next year remember i have massive electricity bills like last month i paid seventeen thousand dollars oh my god the current bitcoin price is sad
but it's a pretty interesting value proposition, right? So like I would have a one in three chance to hit a Bitcoin block or I could definitely mine like $120,000. And I know I'm talking in dollars, but we could be talking in BTC amount too. Uh, the bottom line is one Bitcoin block is 3.125 Bitcoin plus TX fees, transaction fees, right? So that's, you know, $300,000. Over the next two and a half plus years, right? I would mine this amount guaranteed. Or I could go for this and maybe hit it this month, maybe hit it in 24 months, maybe never hit it. The biggest thing that stands out though, is that there's a Bitcoin having in two and a half years. So you're not gonna get 3.125 BTC. You're gonna get half of that. That's why it's called the having. And that happens just systematically in Bitcoin every four years. So hitting a Bitcoin block in the next two and a half years would be a monumental increase over hitting it after that. So I really look at the next two and a half years as like, go time, go for it, get it. Stamp myself on the BTC blockchain. Also the Bitcoin block height is still under 1 million block and getting a sub 1 million block is gonna look incredibly cool in retrospect as opposed to a 1 million block plus. Maybe that's my code, maybe that's my hype. I'm just trying to convince myself like, yo, you should go for it, man, you should do it. Anyway, this is Basin. This is my initial overview uh, and review of it. So far, it's been fantastic. I don't like that there's no mechanism to notify you if you found a block. That is the one key piece where public pool stands out over this is because they have a block found widget. Uh, and uh, well, I guess, I don't know if they have anything on their pool that would act. You really just look at your best share though. And your, sh your best share needs to beat the current difficulty. So for example, this guy had a best difficulty of 2P. Not K, not M, not G. So he solo mined a Bitcoin block with only 120 terahash a second, right? That's like one tenth of what I'm running on my solo miner over there. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty wild. Either way, cool stuff. And I'm gonna flip some more miners over to this. Uh, I'm gonna think about it a little bit more. It's, it's, it's a very serious uh, decision for me. I'm probably gonna flip all my current solo miners over to it and then I may just go for it with the farm. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. You guys probably say YOLO, go for it. But you're not the one paying for the electricity bill now, are you? Hey, I'm Boss. 10 seconds of tails run on every video. Appreciate you. Good luck. Goodbye. I hope you hit the next block. Well, actually, I hope I hit the next block. But then I hope you hit the block after that. Unless I hit a back-to-back -back Bitcoin block. Can we, can we do that? Statistically? No. Speaking of statistics, you should uh, statistically subscribe. Goodbye.